Salut tout le monde, welcome back to my channel, to all the tapies and to all the new people, what's up? So as you guys know, this is not a normal place that I usually shoot. Um, I don't really know if there's an echo in here right now, but I have the door open. Long story short, you guys know I moved to Europe, I moved to Paris, and I didn't know that my lights would blow up if I used the outlet, so I think I just wasted about three or four hundred dollars worth of lights here. So as everyone knows, today is the day that Rihanna launched her makeup line um, that's not just contour and highlight. You got creams, you got powders, you got foundation, you got finishing powder. It's so many different things that she got and I could have spent a good $400 in the store to get everything and show you guys everything. But instead, I only got four things. <laughs> so I got the foundation, I got the powder highlight, I got the shimmering stick, and I got like the, it's like a trio highlight, contour, and concealing, uh, they're, they're both, they're like rollers, but they come all together in a three pack instead of getting them individually. I actually want to show you guys the packaging the, um, that it comes in when you get it from Sephora. So, you know, you have your Sephora bag, uh, it's nothing new, everybody knows what a Sephora bag looks like. And um, they come in this uh, box, I was going to say a cute little box, but it's a, it's a regular box. Um, by Rihanna, box, this is how it looks, this is the trio pack. And this is the foundation. And they all come in the same boxes. So that's that's what it says. It says Fenty, like in the spray paint looking way. So um, this is gonna be a review and a reaction to them. And I'm gonna try to do a full face with her products. Um, well, it can't be a full face because I didn't get all her products, but it's mostly gonna be out of the Fenty Beauty line, the new launch, the first launch she's ever done. And there's a good uh, selection of choices for darker skin tones. I will say there was some tones that, like, usually you would have every tone and then with every undertone, usually like, you know, warm, cool, and you know, some people have green undertone and then neutral and all of that. Um, there was some that I was like, well, this would be nice in a warm, but instead it was a neutral and then that one was in uh, cool. And so I will say that I think that she's planning to do more, but um, that's the only criticism that I may have had. I didn't really look at the fa the more fair sh side of the table because, <sighs> come on, you know, that's probably, you know, I, I can't use that. So that's the only reason I didn't go over there, but it looked like a nice selection. There was a cute little white girl right there. She looked, she was loving it. She was like, oh my God. I'm just gonna start off with pretty much just doing it like I would do my regular makeup. So, let's get started. Okay, so she does have her own primer. Um, I spent a good amount of coin on her today, okay? Um, and I was like, do I wanna add 50 or $30 more for this primer? I'm gonna say the prices of all of these when I get to them individually, but the primer itself, I did not get. So today, um, I usually use my Illuminator e.l.f. primer um, in my highlight areas so that I don't have to use as much shimmery or more layers today i'm just going to use this cheap uh primer i got from walgreens um it's from maybelline and it's baby face it's clear and i don't want to use anything that you know could, could possibly contribute to how the fenty beauty makeup looks so i want to use something that you don't see because i don't want you to be like oh that's really nice and it's not even fenty beauty it's actually something else okay so this is the foundation um i will say Looking on at the videos that she posts and even on um, the website, I thought this thing was going to be about this size. Like, you know, this thing is humongous, okay? You, this is no Kim Kardashian, no shade, but she gives you what you pay for. I mean, this is even bigger than the, this is the MAC um, Matchmaster um, uh, SPF 15 foundation. This is my usual go-to makeup only because it gives you a medium coverage and it's not too thick. And and this is a Maybelline Fit Me that everybody usually gets if you like drugstore makeup. It's bigger than both of these, okay? Like, and it's very beautiful, like a clear and then like a transparent, but like, you know, I just got out the shower look to it. This foundation cost 33 euros. Okay, I'm gonna put the conversion up here because I am from the States and I know a lot of people that watch me and subscribe to me are from the States. But in Paris, it's called 33 euros. I got 400, um, 400, and it's uh, I have a red undertone, warm. So I'm really, I really love foundations, but I am very picky with foundations because I just have a lot of discoloration, so I always get a little, you know, scared with foundations because they don't really c cover my face like I wanted to. So that's the consistency. She does have a foundation brush, but like I told you guys. 
<laughs> I was not trying to spend a billion dollars. I wasn't. So I'm just gonna add some dots on my face. Instead of using the camera, I'm gonna use the mirror behind you because the camera sometimes is deceiving. I know y'all are probably wondering, oh my gosh, he's doing this with a white shirt. Yeah, girl, I'm a pro. He says as he probably is about to mess it up. <laughs> you know, next time. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna blend one side first so you can see how it goes, and then I'll do the other side. Wow. Wow, I like this. Okay. Wow, I really like this. I'm not just, I'm not lying. <laughs> I actually really like this. Um. Okay, so I know I put some kind of on this side, but you can see, like look at that, it's very, I didn't put a lot on, like you guys saw how much I put on, compared to, you know, a lot of people that wear makeup, this is not a lot. I will say that over here it is drying pretty fast, so you need to blend it, but I wanted to show you guys the difference. And even just looking in the camera right now, you can see that this side is smooth, and personally for me, I don't know who else has this problem, but I'm gonna go ahead and blend this up, but I don't know who else has this problem, but my skin is very weird. So, I have discoloration and I have white spots and I have dark spots on my face. So usually, I have to go darker than my skin tone for my foundation. Because even if I do get my right um, color, like these white spots over here, these dark spots, they don't get covered. So it just looks, it just doesn't look right. I actually really like the way that it looks on me. Um, wow, that's very natural looking. Um, it's not a, a complete full coverage. Um, it is a medium, it's a medium coverage to me, if you ask me. I really, 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 really like the foundation. I'm not even saying that because it's Rihanna. Come on, real boy, boy, can you get it up? Yes, I can get it up. I can get it up, I can get it up. I like this. Yes, Ree. Come on, Robin. Okay, so that is the foundation. Uh, next, we have the trio. This is uh, the Fenty Beauty Match Sticks Trio. Okay, and this was, uh, this is, ooh, I paid this, okay. 52 euros. They come in this box, they come out just like this. They're magnetic, which I think is so cute because you can't really lose them. So this is Tan 300, so it has caramel, truffle, and rum. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start my concealing and contour. This is, this is the hardest part because contouring can go really wrong. So I'm gonna start off, oh, okay. Okay, shut me up, sis. Okay. Just gonna put a little bit because I don't know what you do yet, sis. I don't know what you do. She doing a cute thing. It's very creamy. I like it. I like cream. I just want to do a little bit. I just want to see what it's going to give. What is my sis giving? She does have a brush for this, but I did not buy it. <laughs> like I told you guys. You know. Blend this in and see what little sis is doing. What is she doing? Okay. She's blending. Hmm. Okay, we're just gonna keep going. We're just gonna keep going. Okay. Okay. You just wanna blend some more. Okay. You were scaring me, sis, but you just wanna blend some more. Okay. I see. I understand. Don't don't argue with me, sis. Okay. Okay. Hmm. We're just gonna keep going. out the contour with the similar brush but bigger. Okay, let me put some more truffle like. I, 
I like the way that nose came out. Oh wow, I like the way the nose came out. Okay, let me finish. I was talking, I was talking shit, but um, my sis is coming through. Oh, okay. I think I always do that. In the blending stage, I get really nervous and I just get really nervous. I'm gonna go in between those two contours right there and I'm gonna add a little highlight, okay? To uh, really make that contour pop. When you use, wow. Wow, did you guys see how that blended nice? Wow. Wow. Wow, I'm really surprised. I'm really, I'm really surprised. I know this is not her brush and everything, this is Pro Technique. I will give them some credit, but I kinda wanna see what happens when you put as much as regular people do. I don't put a lot. I don't put a lot. So you guys saw how much I put. I don't put a lot, but I know. A lot of people I know put way more. So I'm going ahead. Um, I like the way it, it blended. Um, I don't go extreme with the contour because I like to look natural. Um, like I just like to look um, like, you know, it's not makeup, but you're wearing makeup, if that makes sense. I know you want to see how long they go, and I'm scared to do this only because a lot of stuff, when you do this, it falls over. If Girl, we just go, we gonna go real slow. Okay. 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 You done? It's giving chocolate uh, pops. Oh, it's done. I, I, I felt a little pressure. Oh, it stopped. It, you're not stuck, are you? Oh, okay. I was scared. I think that that's a lot for the price that you pay for three. Um, so, bravo. That is for the contouring and the concealing. For the tan, this is the rum. And I just realized that I was stupid. I didn't look at what exactly it came with with the trio. I thought it would be completely different than the shimmering sticks. So when I went to the shimmering sticks and I picked one, I picked rum. And I just noticed that the rum is the one that's in the tan. So make sure you look at for the box that you pick for the trio, if you do get it, that you look at the shimmering stick that's in it, that comes with it for the highlight. You don't repeat what's already in there because now I have to take it back because I bought two rums and I, I doubt it's that great that I need to have two of them. Individually, the the shimmering stick is 24. Wow! Wow, the shimmering stick is 24 and then if you get it with the trio, it's 52 for all three. So that's, wow. If you do like rum, I think it's a great idea to get the trio instead. Just step, step. That's how it looks. I hope you guys can see. It's not as radiant as I would like it to be. I feel like you have to keep applying it for it to work or you have to use her primer. Maybe that's what it is, but... Or maybe just not blend it. Maybe just dab it a little with your finger and you're good. Maybe, oh yeah, that that's better. I wouldn't, I wouldn't advise using a sponge because I think the sponge is taking off a lot of the product. I think that the best way to go would be using, you know, your finger. Your finger would be the best way. Oh yeah, I like that. Definitely a finger job. Oh wait, that didn't sound right. Um, definitely a job for, well, go either way. Definitely a job for your finger. I mean, it's nothing to be like, whoa, you know? Maybe I just need a different color, but I don't really, like I would not buy this again. Like it's not something that I would 
go back to get in. So I would not go back to get rum. And I added a lot, so maybe it's that. I do know. <laughs> I swatched this this uh this highlight, this power highlight. Whoo, it was amazing. Oh no, I can't. Oh girl, I almost dropped it. Okay. Comes in a box like this. You take it out, you know it's cute. I'm not even gonna guess the shape because I'm gonna be wrong. Hexagon, not a hexagon. Probably a, I don't goddamn know. Wow. Wow. Okay. I'm a little mad because this is not the one I wanted. This is not the one that I got. I promise you, this is not the one I, that I got. Really wanted the one I got. Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyway, we're gonna try this. Ooh. Oh wow. Oh girl, like a trophy. Oh, I am a trophy. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh yeah, I like this. Oh wow. Come every boy, boy. I like in how my that bag right there. I don't know where she came from, but I never get her. Um, but I like this highlight. I do. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna put more. Hey guys, so this is the final look that I did with the Fenty Beauty makeup. I did use the Fenty foundation, the Fenty highlighter, and the uh, highlight, conceal, and... <laughs> so, um, overall, I really think the products are really nice. As you can see, the highlight, the powder highlight is really nice. I'm such a big fan of the cream highlight, which I had in rum, because it's too close to my skin tone. That doesn't... I don't feel like it really pops on me. It may pop on someone else, but for me personally, I didn't feel like um, it was all that, you know, amazing. Um, I did add uh, contacts, okay? Um, I just wanted to give an overall, you know, a real pop, like, you know, wow. Um, the ones that I'm wearing right now will be down below. I really love the products. I think they're really nice. The part about this makeup, I would have to say, would be um, the foundation. The foundation was, First of all, the foundation is always the most important to me because if you don't have a great foundation, then even with anything, if you don't have a great foundation, everything else falls. I have to get one darker so that it can cover my face the right way because of my light spots, because of my dark spots. And as you can see, it covered it really nice just in this area, even though I did contour a little bit and I did highlight just a little bit. Like, you know, it really blended really well so you can't see it as well, but you can see that contour and you can see that highlight. The highlight is really nice. It does pop. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really not a makeup expert. I've never worked with makeup. Um, I just make up for my leisure. This is the full face. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I love my tabies and thank you everybody else who's new to come. Please subscribe. Um, and uh, yeah.